Many of us producers will get hearing damage from making beats. And to be frank, many of us probably already have hearing damage that we aren't even aware of. It's way more fun making beats at loud volumes, you know, hearing those drums slap on the monitors. It's a great feeling. However, you're probably working in an environment where with repeated exposure, the volume levels will cause hearing damage to your ears and that is permanent and irreversible. As producers or artists or whatever, we cannot afford to ruin our hearing, especially if you're a mix engineer. How are you going to be able to mix accurately if you're not hearing Hearing accurately. Not to mention the possibility of developing tinnitus, which can lead to depression and anxiety and a bunch of other maladies. In this video, I'll be discussing the safe decibel ranges for your environment and how you can measure the loudness in your own environment. How loud should your environment be when making beats? To answer this question, we'll have to look at a few sources discussing healthy and harmful loudness levels. Our first source is going to be from the CDC, and on the website here it says noise above 70 decibels over a prolonged period of time may start to damage your hearing. Loud noise above 100 120 dB can cause immediate harm to your ears. And then it lists a bunch of everyday sounds and noises for loudness references. Normal conversation is about 60 decibels. A washing machine dishwasher is at 70. And this, according to the CDC, is when you start to run a risk of getting hearing damage with repeated exposure. And then as we get into the 80 dB range, like a gas powered lawnmower, it says damage to hearing possible after two hours of exposure. At 95 dB, damage to hearing possible after 50 minutes. At 100, hearing loss possible after 15 minutes. That's just one source. Let's look at another one. This is from the University of Michigan. According to this, it says in general, sounds above 85 are harmful depending on how long and how often you are exposed to them. The third reference I'm going to be discussing is from the American Speech Language Hearing Association. Here it says you can listen to sounds at 70 dB or lower for as long as you want. Sounds at 85 can lead to hearing loss if you listen to them for more than eight hours at a time. So obviously these sources all vary, but generally 80 to 90 decibel is when we really start risk and getting hearing damage, especially with repeated exposure. 90 decibels to 100 decibels can cause hearing damage pretty quickly, and then anything over 100 decibels will definitely cause hearing damage with repeated exposure. So why did I say most producers will get hearing damage at the start of the video? Well, I'm kind of a loser and I have loudness measuring apps on my phone, and I'll typically measure the loudness of different rooms that I'm in. Like whenever I go to a bar, I'll usually pull, <laughs> pull my loudness meter out and measure it. But I always do that when I'm working with other the producers in their environment seeing how loud the setting is which will determine whether or not I wear my earplugs or not and let me tell you every time I've worked with other producers their environment is well over 80 decibels it's usually in the 90s and sometimes it's even been in the 100 decibel range and these are environments that these producers work in every time they're making beats it's not just a one-off thing it's every day or a few times a week at least so here's what you need to do you need to either buy a loudness measuring device or you need to download a free app on your phone. There's a bunch of free apps on Android and iOS for measuring loudness. I tried a bunch of them out. They all kind of give similar results. I know they're not 100% accurate. I watched a bunch of YouTube videos of people with accurate loudness measuring devices comparing those to the iPhone apps. And typically the iPhone apps would be off by about three or four decibels. That's okay. We don't need a perfect reading here. We just need to get into the ballpark of the loudness of the room that we're in. Download one of these free apps, hold your phone where your head usually sits when you're making beats and just just play a beat at a volume that you'd normally work at and see how loud the reading is. So right there, I was mostly staying in the 70 dB range. I was peaking at about 80, but overall I'm in a very healthy noise level. If you do this test and you find you're in the high 80s or 90s, you should definitely consider turning your monitors down. I could probably turn my monitors up and be just fine, but I personally have really sensitive hearing, so that's why I keep it in the 70s. This may not be as fun in the short term, turning your monitors down a little bit, but it will more than pay off in the long term. If you don't care at all about your hearing, go ahead, turn your monitors up to the max volume, but <laughs> enjoy the tinnitus you're gonna get. 